Welcome to another Camp Cloud demo. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to set up a Hikvision camera with the Camp Cloud service. Once you get your Hikvision uh, camera configured with Camp Cloud, you'll be able to take advantage of our web and mobile apps and of course our cloud services such as our uh, cloud storage. So let me walk you through a couple steps uh, that's required in order to set up a Hikvision camera with Camp Cloud. So the first thing you need to do is log into uh, the Cam Cloud website, and that's where I am right now. I'm right at the cameras page, which is where you're taken uh, right after you log in. And as you can see here, there's a couple different um, areas on the page, uh, which I will uh, explain in a moment. Uh, but the first thing you'll notice is I have a camera list. And so these are a list of existing cameras that I have set up uh, with CamCloud. And this is one of the real nice features about CamCloud is that you can uh, mix and match uh, the cameras that you wish to use uh, with the service. So we support a large number of IP cameras and in this case I have two different types of Foscam cameras set up as well as a Sony camera. You can also configure uh, webcams, so this would be, uh, for example, a USB uh, connected webcam. Uh, so you can really mix and match uh, the kinds of cameras that you want to use with our service uh, and have for uh, cloud storage uh, as well as the other features. So um, I am going to add a Hikvision camera uh, to the service uh, and show you how to do that. But first, as you can see, if I jump over to the live view, uh, the existing cameras uh, are already set up and I can go ahead and uh, stream video um, from multiple cameras uh, that are located uh, at a variety of locations uh, and again these are all coming from uh, different camera sources all streamed within one interface uh, you can expand it go full screen uh, so a real handy live view interface and if uh, the camera uh, supports it you can uh, have things like pan tilt controls uh, as well as the ab ability to set motion detection areas so lots of great features um, uh, depending on the kind of camera you're using um, but so let's go back to uh, what we want to do here and that is set up a Hikvision camera so what I will do is uh, start the camera wizard so I just selected add camera and now I'm at the camera wizard uh, so this wizard will just walk you through the steps required uh, to set up uh, a camera with CamCloud uh, and it's a Hikvision camera and so uh, for us what you want to do is uh, select generic H.264 uh, and so this is really kind of a catch-all camera type or camera category that we use for really any of the modern cameras uh, that are out there today uh, that support H.264 uh, and RTSP. And so you will need something called an RTSP URL. I'll show you what that means in a second. Uh, so before you go through this step you'll want to uh, make sure you know what your camera's uh, RTSP URL is. Uh, but we already know what that is for the Hikvision. So let's give the camera a name. This could be really any descriptor you want to give it. So now we're at step two and this is the network setup and this is a pretty important uh, step in the uh, process to set up a camera uh, and what you need to do is provide a few different um, pieces of information uh, to CamCloud so we can uh, access the camera, be able to pull live video from it uh, etc. So the first thing uh, is you need the camera's username, in this case uh, it's admin and then the camera's password. So this is the password of your device. It's not your CamCloud password. So this is the camera's password. This is your external IP address. Uh, and then you need to uh, provide the RTSP port. That's so that we can pull video uh, from the camera. And then the RTSP path. And the, in, case, in the case of the Hikvision cameras, that is um, video.h264. So I just consulted the Hikvision documentation uh, and I got, I uh, found that the RTSP URL looks like this. Now, if you're not sure, uh, just contact support at camcloud.com and we'll, uh, we'll answer that question for you. Uh, so those are my camera's credentials. I press next and what we're doing now is just connecting to the camera. See how quickly that was? Uh, so that means that we were able to successfully uh, ping the camera so the network setup is complete. And then the final step here is uh, some FTP credentials. This is how we uh, are going to capture recordings, uh, snapshots from the camera. 
so what we do is we do that over FTP and Hikvision provides uh, an FTP feature on its camera and so these credentials we're going to input uh, into our Hikvision camera and the other thing you want to do often is also uh, configure DNS on the camera but I'll just go through that in a moment but for now we'll say we're finished uh, so at this point uh, if I jump back to my live view you'll see that uh, there's now four cameras available including the Hikvision camera, the Sony one we talked about earlier, and then one of these outdoor cameras. So here we are, again, we've got a mix of different cameras connected to the service, all streaming video, uh, and live streaming is up and running and working well, so that's great. Uh, the last thing we want to do, though, is I want to use the cloud storage uh, feature that is offered by CamCloud, and that's uh, the recordings capability. So, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the, when we, if you recall, when we set up the Hikvision camera, CamCloud provided some FTP credentials. So, I went and put those on my clipboard, but if you uh, didn't do it during the initial setup, you can always just go and uh, grab your FTP credentials uh, from your camera list. And so now that I have my credentials, the last step is I need to just jump over to the uh, Hikvision uh, camera uh, interface. And so this is the web interface uh, provided by the camera. I'm logging directly into the camera. Uh, and there's just a couple steps I need to do here. Basically, I need to provide it with um, the FTP credentials. So now I have to uh, type in the password. And for some reason, the Hikvision interface doesn't allow just to cut and paste the password in. So it's a bit of a pain, but it just takes a couple seconds. And I type in the password. And then what I do is I do a test. And so that means uh, I'm configured with FTP correctly, which is great. Uh, and then the last uh, two things I need to do is I need to quickly jump to events. And I want to make sure that motion detection is enabled. And then I have a motion detection area selected. And then they have something called a linkage method. And what the linkage method is, is ensuring that um, FTP is being uh, uploaded. So you want to select upload to FTP. It's, it's uh, cut off a little bit uh, on the screen here, uh, but there's an upload to FTP button, and you want to do that. And then the last uh, step is just jump to storage, snapshot, and you want to enable event triggered snapshot. You do those three things uh, and you'll be all uh, configured and ready to uh, start using uh, cloud storage uh, with, uh, with CamCloud and your Hikvision camera. And what will happen is that as there's motion in front of the camera, you jump to the recordings page uh, and you'll see these um, events um, snapshots right into your, right into your cam cloud interface uh, and you can quickly see uh, what kind of motion activity uh, was captured uh, by the device so that's the end of the demo thanks for watching